Just finished my long run. Um, it's the, been the sixth long run that I've done since my coach has included it on my program. It got, I have to just run for 25 minutes and see how far I get. I got over 6K, it was a PB actually. And my aim was to get the first few reps under four minutes per K and the first three were all under four. So all in the 340s and 350s. And then I did start to get a bit fatigued. This is my last session of the week. So I'm pretty heavy. Um, it's more like a recovery jog, but I like to try and run it decent. And overall, in 25 minutes, I got 6.3K. I have to run in laps on grass to be careful for my foot. It's pretty spicy out there as well. I have fitness and not speed, but speed's what we want. But that's what you have. That's what happens when you get injured. So I just got home after my last session of the week. And I was contemplating when I got up filming like a what I eat in a day and just a random day in the life. And then I was like, nah. And then after I ran, I was like, yeah. And then I was like, damn, because I already missed the morning. So I'm just going to explain what I did. So firstly, I woke up. I tried to sleep in and I am a pretty big sleeper for sleeping late, but I woke up at like eight ish. So that's not that late for me. So I just, I like, I think it's important to get a lot of sleep, especially to recover from like a big week of training. So I didn't really want to have breakfast straight away and I did like having it a bit later. So to kill some time before I had breakfast, I just got some stuff off my to-do list done. So each night I'll write like a to-do list of what I want to do the next day. It looked disgusting, but I just ran like 6K. So that's acceptable, right? And then I went to the kitchen to have my breakfast, sculled my liter of water, had my vitamin and calcium supplement and had my disgusting shot of wheatgrass. Then I had my bowl of oats and a tea, and today I had the vanilla sliced tea from T2. In my room I have like this shelf with all different teas that I've gotten from T2. I put them in a jar and just write what they are on it. And the one I have the most is at Brekkie is Hodjicha Bancha, which is like this green tea. It's really yum. Ooh. My brother was in that photo, made that candle. It's really cool. And I have this vanilla slice one, which I got because it was 50% off, and it's actually quite nice. So I had that today. I had my oats, which is my oatmeal. It was amazing, and what I'm going to do is just have the exact same breakfast tomorrow and put a little clip of it here. So here is my brekkie. There's my green tea. And I just have my bowl of zucchini oats. It's literally just oats, which I cooked on the stove with almond milk. And I put in maca powder and chia seeds and mix that in. And then there's frozen berries. I just have blueberries and raspberry mixed in. And then I topped it with some banana, nectarine, hemp seeds, golden lim seeds, and a little bit of natural peanut butter. Which, unfortunately, is at the end of the jar, so it's like hard and doesn't look nice and gooey. But it's delicious, so that's my brekkie. I also forgot to mention like the most important bit, or one of them, which yeah. is grating an entire zucchini into it. And that's the Hodjicha Buncha green tea, which I have. So brekkie with a fresh jar of peanut butter. As you can see, it is like amazing. So this is another day, yes I have new nails from before when I filmed, but I'm just showing you what it looks like when the peanut butter is like fresh. So that's the brand of peanut butter and as you can see it's like, oh my god. So that's what I had for breakfast, so I'm going to take this off. Oh yuck. I don't know if people have realised by now, but I kind of, <gasps> oh my god, okay sorry, I have my banana tree outside my window and banana trees get... I don't know what they're called, but they get shoots or something and you can replant more banana trees from it. And we got a shoot from our banana tree and we replanted it and the shoot is like dead. I'm going to show you. This is my beautiful thriving banana tree right outside my window. That's the view I get. And that's the shoot and it was going really well, but I just saw it looking dead and it upset me a little bit. Anyway, where was I? You might have noticed, but I kind of most of the time just don't really care when I look disgusting and I just video anyway. And I'm like <laughs> a massive grub. Like... A legit grub like oh my god one of my favorite youtubers is Sarah's day and she always says grub life and she's like the cleanest person I know like I was like oh if that's grub life what am I like I like bye I'll give you an example 
during HSE when all I was doing was studying and I didn't want to spend any time you know outside of studying like any time not studying was wasted so like when I went to the gym it'd be there back when I went to the shower it'd be like there back when I went to the bathroom it'd be like pee as fast as you can and go back didn't want to take any time out of studying so like for example when I went to the bathroom I just grabbed a random toothbrush brushed my teeth really quick and went and I honestly just used whichever toothbrush was there like I used my family's tooth toothbrushes like that's scrub life. I wore the same sock for like a week because I didn't want to take time to go and get a fresh pair of socks. Also because it was hard to like walk around because I was on crutches, but whatever. <laughs> so I had my brekkie that I always have, my, my zucchini oats, which are yum. While that was digesting, I worked a bit on my uni lecture. So I'm starting my first year of uni. I have O-week next week, in two days actually. And one of the subjects, functional musculoskeletal anatomy, the first lesson we have is a prac, so we have to do the lecture ourselves, the first lecture. So I it was in two parts, so I've done part A and now I'm doing part B and it's taking me ages because I'm spending so much time writing out like notes and stopping it and making sure I really understand. And I know I won't be able to do that in actual uni because there's going to be too much at once, but you know, I can now, so why not? I'll show you my little study setup. So I literally just walked out of my room and right here into our computer room or study and I set up this study area. I keep one binder for each subject here and then I have this main binder. The topic that we have to do a pre-lecture for is this one so I was pre-week one and so I printed off the lecture notes and took notes on that and then this is then I also wrote notes as I was watching. And I also typed up a just three page summary for the part that I've already done. And yeah, so here is my setup. It's, I have my training diary and I fill that out each night too. My normal diary, some pens and stuff. The printer's right there. So yeah, it's a great little setup. So now for the rest of the day, I'm just going to get some more stuff off that to-do list done and just chill out. Saturdays are like the chillest for me. Actually, a lot of days are the chillest for me. Until uni starts. Lol. Rip. Okay, so I also wanted to just do a little review of my run. So, every week on my program, I finish with a long recovery jog, long run thing. That was the sixth one I've done. So I only got given it eight weeks ago, but two of the weeks I didn't do the run because I had a comp on instead. So I know it's not the best time and stuff, but I'm literally just working for me because I kind of had to start. After my injury, I had to like go back and almost start over again with everything. So I've had to be just doing a lot of fitness stuff and I haven't been able to do speed. So my before my injury, I was a 400 sprinter and hurdler. And I've honestly... It, after the injury it's been such a long road coming back and there's been so many setbacks and I still have to be really careful. I only recently worked my way up to my foot being able to pull up from all our track sessions, having more volume increased and being able to do the extra run. Honestly another reason I wasn't going to film was because when I woke up I felt pretty heavy and flat from this week because I had a solid week of training and so I was like mm, I'm just gonna like get it done type of day and I was like to myself nah come on let's try and hit like a good pace so yeah that's so I've been getting a lot fitter now that I've been able to train harder but I speed is what I have lost so much of and is what takes the longest to get back so I really just want to get fast again but I'm happy to be getting fitter so like Thursday I had 15 200s which was my tempo session and I held like 33 pace on grass, so I was happy with that. It was just like walk back, so like 90 seconds between go again. And yeah, but yeah. so I stretched out and then when I did, got there I just did some leg swings and then got ready to go. It was like 30 degrees in the sun and honestly that felt fine. I've done it before in like 38 degrees and that did not feel fine. It hurt a lot and was not nice. I know it's silly to go at those times, but sometimes in this country... You can't help it. I probably could have helped it because I went pretty late, but 30 degrees was okay and it prepares you to run in hot conditions. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I've had some races where I felt like I've been on fire. Like, Perth Nationals, I thought they were going to cancel our race because it was so hot and then they didn't and I was like, 
frick. It was so hot and it's hotter on the track. It's so hard to breathe when it's so hot because the air is like dry. I remember one time in a 200, it was just so hot that I instantly, my feet instantly blistered as I ran and like all the other girls would cross the line and we all just had to get on our bum and sit because our feet hurt so much to put pressure on and just like rip our spikes off. I kind of want to feel fresh, so I think I might go and have a shower now. Fresh. Also, another thing, I make sure I have at least three minutes of standing under cold water to get, um, to do some hydrotherapy, you know, be an awesome ice bath, but it's still, when it's cold, your blood vessels still constrict and then after they will dilate and it just helps with blood flow to the muscles for recovery. Woo! I think I'm going to go have lunch now because it's getting a bit late and then I'll do some work after that. Towel head. So I have got the towel turban going. It's like the most comfy thing. Except this towel is massive and it's like weighing me down. So I couldn't really speak while I was making this because my whole family were making their lunch in the kitchen. But I literally just boiled some broccoli and carrot. And then in a pan I put heaps of those veggies. I put um, purple cabbage, silver beet, tomato, asparagus and onion. Just whatever was in the house. And the tomatoes from our garden. And I also had some leftover sweet potato that was baked in the fridge. So I had got a few bits of that. minutes and I'm a little bit worried that I boiled it for too long because I like it to be kind of a little bit bigger of on the inside oh. yeah freak that's like hard boiled no that's really sad and I'm kind of sad with that but I like it to be runny but I definitely overdid that god damn it oh well and then I topped it with a little bit of avo so that's what I'm gonna have for lunch and then after lunch I'm gonna have some watermelon Okay, like this is actually so sad. I like it to be gooey and coming out and it like runs, but it's freaking hard boiled. And basically, as you can tell, it's just heaps of veggies, salsa healthy fats, which is some avo and in the boiled egg and some protein with the egg and some complex carbs with sweet potato. And I'm also having this big glass of water. Keep hydrating, set up. So I just finished my lunch and it's now almost three o'clock. So I had that kind of late, but I honestly, I'm so full from that. And I just wasn't hungry either. And I usually would be, but I you don't really feel hungry after running. Also, I had breakfast at like 10, which I normally do, but I wasn't that hungry for that either. And I usually am. Also, I wanted to add um, that like long run training session isn't really a proper training session. It's just like a recovery jog at the end of a training week. Our training sessions are a lot different from that. For example, Wednesday I had 600, 500, 400, 300, but broken. So it was like 300, 300, break, 300, 200, break, 200, 200, and they're faster. Around just under 30-ish for the 200s. Um, and then we'd have like a long warm up and as well and do all our drills and finish with circuits and it'd take over two hours um and then also in the week i have so there's track sessions across training so pull or bike body circuit stuff and um weights in the gym so yeah that's like a typical training week and i just finish it off with a long run but yeah i'm gonna have some watermelon now anyway For a rat ash. Heck yeah, summer fruits, like the fruits in season in summer, are the bomb. So beautiful. Staying hydrated, so I have my water. And I just poured a hojicha bunch of green tea where the tea leaves.
I'm ready for some time out. I didn't go to uni last year, so it's been a while since studying for HSE. So I feel like uni's been a punch me in the face. Oh well, what can you do? I'm going to make some dinner. So the light's really fading now, but I have like no craving for something. I'm just gonna defrost a piece of salmon because one of my favorite types of dinners. I am starting to get pretty hungry because I haven't eaten that much today for me. Like I've just had that bowl of oats, my bowl of lunch and some watermelon and then I did my run and stuff and it's now like almost 7.30 so I'm going to defrost this piece of salmon and while it's defrosting I'm going to get my stretching and stuff done. It is so beautiful that sunset. It's really pretty. It's a lovely night. So I have my salmon sizzling away. And then I just boiled a whole bunch of veggies. So I just put the purple cabbage and asparagus. So now I have a whole heap of veggies, some brown rice which is in the fridge, my salmon and avo, and some limes from the tree. And all you do is combine it all in the bowl and eat it. So the veggies, I just boiled some broccoli, carrot, silver beet, frozen peas, frozen corn, and then in the pan with the salmon I put some purple cabbage and asparagus. And I just use what's in the house and then I'll just mix them with the rice, avo and salmon. Yum! So I just mixed a whole heap of the veggies and rice, and then the salmon and avo. And I will drown it in some lemon or lime, and that is delicious, my favourite dinner. And I will have more than one bowl of this, I honestly most of the time finish all of the veggies that I cook and obviously I don't put the whole salmon in the first bowl so I like save some for the next bowl but yeah so that's dinner today yum yeah the girls and so there's dinner it's now just after eight so I'm eating kind of late Yum. So I like to have a little snack and a tea after dinner and today I'm just having a chamomile tea and some nuts with a medjool date that I put some natural peanut butter in. This is literally like my form of a treat or candy. It's the best tasting thing ever. And then I just have a little bowl with some nuts, some almonds, hazelnuts, cashews, walnuts, pistachios. And some pumpkin seeds so I'm gonna have that as a snack hey guys thank you so much for watching I just wanted to say that was just a, an example of a random day not every day is like that especially training wise because I just did the run usually I'd have a proper track session and they go for a lot longer and there's a full warm-up uh, like a hard session and then we finish with circuit work usually would have more than one session because I do like a gym in the morning or like a pool or something like that and then food wise again it was the type of things I eat but not always the same it was just a general idea of a random day um, but yeah not every day is like that but thank you for watching that was just an example because a lot of people kind of ask what I eat and when and stuff like that and yeah another thing oh my gosh at the start of the video when I had like spit or something on my face that was really distracting and it, yeah that was just really annoying me, but yeah, oh well, what can you do? So yeah, thank you for watching. Also, I literally just got out of bed if I look deceased or seem like flat. Because you know when you just first thing in the morning, you're not like, hey, I have energy. So, but I was just like, meh, that's why I might be a bit like monotone. <laughs>